screen one more time. And uh, now he just makes one more point. This is part three of his introduction. And the Mitzvah says that um, how should we learn this stuff? What is the proper approach to uh, how to learn Kabbalah and how to learn Hasidus? And so pretty much what he says is that our focus, and our focus has to be um, on God's unity, on the center point. We've got to keep our eye on the bullseye and not get distracted by all the stuff that's going on out here um, and the periphery. And so even though when we're learning the books of Kabbalah and stuff, it's going to talk about, you know, uh, oops, it's going to talk about um, angels and uh, it's going to talk about, you know, the, the spheros and it's going to talk about the Ilamais and um, all kinds of things like that and all different levels and names and all kinds of things. He says we shouldn't want to be distracted and want to know the system and try to like systematize and know the map. Um, that's not what we want to do because that is exact opposite of God's unity, trying to memorize this whole system and kind of feel like a big shot that we know everything. He says that is kind of the, the custom of the Kabbalists these days. That's the, what the, the Mikubalim do, uh, tend to do. And, but he says that, 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 that the modern day Mikubalim try to memorize the system and uh, that's really a distraction from that real point. Because what we want to always focus on is God himself and knowing God's unity. And that's the idea, like it says, that you should uh, pray a love, oops, a love, filoi le mi daisov, that we should pray to God himself and not to his attributes. And so the same thing when we're learning, we should be focusing the entire time on learning the whole, all the Kabbalistic levels, only to see how they all connect and become transparent, and not as their own wisdom and to become a big shot because we know everything. And doing that would actually make us feel more ego and more separate from God would be the, the opposite of the purpose of learning all this stuff, which is really to make it clear and transparent. And so now having explained how important all this stuff is and how this is really the key to our service of God and uh, spiritually and, and our physical blessings too and everything and bringing Mashiach, he says, and that's why I decided to write this um, for those that really want to know God sincerely. And that's a key. We always find that, um, that the Mitzvah is very big on that concept of sincerity. Oh, let me erase that. Um, and he says that, you know, I'm not writing this to show off or to, for honor or anything. I'm just writing it for people that, like me, want to sincerely uh, know what's going on. And there's a lot of people who will fool themselves and they'll just, you know, want to study this to say that, pretend that they got it and they're not really going to do all the work that's necessary because it's hard to really understand this stuff and you've got to work at it and keep at it. And if you're not focused the whole time on that bullseye, if you don't keep your eye on, on that bullseye, you're going to get distracted and um, you're going to get into all this stuff out here. And you're never going to get in there. And he says, I'm writing this book for people who sincerely want that, and those people will get it. And everybody else, um, unfortunately, will you know, get lost. Okay, so that's pretty much a summary of the introduction. Maybe a different time we can do a little history on you know, why the book was written and how it was written. Um, there's a little story to that. And uh, we'll start also with Chapter 1. Thanks for watching.